Hey, everybody, I'm Mark Walters, and it's not often in my journalistic career that I get to, uh, to say this, but it really, truly is an honor to be sitting here with the legendary Ernest Borgnine. You, you've been a big hero to me for many, many years. You don't really believe that, do you? No, it's, it's, not, it's not a fact, you know. <laughs> <laughs> We're here at Dragon Con, and, and, you know, the first thing I want to ask you, because, I mean, just walk, watching you walk up and down the hallways and talk to the fans and everything, in this business, in the business of Hollywood, you, you really have this reputation for being an incredibly nice man and someone that is just, you know, generous with your time. How do you, how do you keep that sort of nice attitude in, the, in a business like that? Well, it's easy because, uh, listen, I'm here to entertain people, essentially. Yeah. And if I walk around with a, with a long face and, you know, everybody looks, at, you know, I look at that ugly, it just doesn't go. You gotta be nice. You gotta be, hey. If if anybody's got any kind of humanity in them, you go around saying hello, how are you, good morning, how's everything. I wish to goodness everybody did that. You know, it'd be nice if you got up there in, in the morning and say hi to everybody and then good morning. They may look at you kind of strange because they think we, he's not with it this morning, but do it because believe me, in the long run you get paid back. And it's paid back in, in twofold because of the fact that they say good morning to you. And that's what's nice. Absolutely. I just saw you out there with a couple of costumed uh, Airwolf guys. Uh, have you? What are some of the interesting fan experiences you've had, like some of the interesting people you've met here at Dragon Con? Well, can you imagine they go out there and they find these costumes of, of uh, Airwolf, you know? And, and, and the fella opened up this shirt and he's got a picture of me right on his shirt. Now, you know, you say to yourself, well, wait a minute, is it really that, that important to him that he have something like this? And, and, and to go around in a, in a uniform of, uh, of Airwolf and everything else, it, it, it's amazing. And uh, it kind of makes you think twice, you know what I mean? That, uh, hey, you have brought a little something into this world that makes other people happy. And that's, you gotta remember that. You gotta remember that if you can do that, like my mother said, if you can make one person happy in the span of 24 hours, you've accomplished a great deal. And that's exactly what she said to me. Absolutely. So that's what I try to do. And we just recently saw you in red, which I loved seeing you back on the big screen like that. Uh, and, and are you still doing SpongeBob SquarePants voiceover, or is, is that kind of done at this point? Whenever they call me. They call you know, me. It, 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 they don't call me enough because I'd love to do it. And, you know, when I go, evil, the kids go, oh, wow, that's him. <laughs> it's the darkest thing you've ever seen. And, and as far as um, um, doing the picture, my goodness, I said, next time I, I want a gun. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think next time you should be the guy running like the CIA. You should be the guy in charge. Running. I don't know about running at my age, but <laughs> I'd like to have a gun. <laughs> Absolutely. So uh, out of your entire career, I mean, obviously, you're a man that's done uh, an incredible amount of television work, incredible amount of film work. Uh, what are some of the, the roles that really stand out in your mind as being kind of the special? I mean, obviously, Marty has to have a big place in your heart. But like, what, what are some of the roles that really mean a lot to you personally? You know, it's very funny. People ask me, what's your favorite picture or your favorite role? Um, you know, you make pictures, it's just like children. Yeah. Uh, you take a love to them because you say, hey, gee, that was a nice nice shoot, you know? And you always have nice memories about it. And it's like children. And so you, I always say, I don't have any favorite, but they're all my favorites, you know? Uh, I love every one of them. And, um, and it's been a lot of fun to me. And bringing entertainment is, is, is the thing that counts. If we can do that and bring good entertainment instead of the kind of drizzle that they have today where it's nothing but guns and sex and more explosions and cars burning up, uh, and they call it entertainment. That's not entertainment in my, in my estimation. So that's why I feel that we should all work for one thing. Go back to Westerns! Yes. <laughs> I want to see, see the Western make a comeback. It looks like it's starting to make a comeback with oh, a few movies. So we just finished one, believe it or not, where I almost play a Western guy in a in a in a get well home. What do you call them? Uh, the, uh, these uh, these homes that tick in these old men. 
Uh, oh, a nurse, like a nursing home or nursing like a yeah. home, you know? Assisted living. Yeah, yeah and we, we played it like a, a, a Western, you know, a, a bad guy against a good guy and everything else. And it was wonderful. It, it You know, it, it's everything but the horse. Everything but the horse. And <laughs> it's wonderful. And uh, it, the name of it right now is called The Man Who Shook the Hand of Vincent Fernandez. And um, it'll be coming out next year. And I tell you, it's going to be a doozy, a good one. You know, Ernest Borgnine, I, I think you're an inspiration to not only actors, but people in general. And it, 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 uh, absolutely, sir, I cannot tell you, this is from my heart, it is an absolute honor to speak Thank with you. you. So, Thank Ernest Borgnine is a man. Thank you. Pleasure, Thank sir. Thank you. Thank All you. right.